All right, guys, time to learn Handlebars by the Flowbots. Awesome protest song, sick groove, some double bass work. Get your stuff and let's get going. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's get right into it, okay? Need my earplugs. All right, so you got a really long intro. First thing you're gonna play. One, and then two, and That's the intro. All right? Okay, then we have measure one, you're gonna play bass on one and the end of two, okay? Then measure two, all right? This is really important because we're actually in halftime. It's up tempo halftime, but the snare is actually playing on three. One, two, three, four, okay? Because we play eighth notes on our hi-hat, but then our right foot's gonna play dotted eighths underneath that, right? So in the second measure, it's gonna play on one, the uh of one, and the and of two. So it sounds kind of like a triplet, right? It's not really, but it sounds like one. It can fool you. Doesn't matter how long you've been playing drums. Right? You might you might hear it and go, what? That sounds, it, that's what makes it sound cool. It's also the most common rhythm in humanity. So that's fun too, all right? So first measure, one, and of two. Next measure, ba, 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 ga. Let's try it slow and work through it. All right, here we go. All right, so you do that whole phrase twice. All right, same thing, that, that last measure is still the dotted eights, but now you play it in counts one and two and three and four. So let's just play those last two measures of that phrase a couple times. Last time. I also forgot to mention, you notice I'm playing, they're called rim knocks technically. A lot of people call it just cross stick, right? It gives you like a quieter option on the snare drum. The way to do that, the best way to do that, I think, is hold your stick backwards, okay? All right, then cut the drum in half, all right? You're just only really gonna hold the stick with pointer and thumb and then let the other fingers just rest on the drum. So if I cut the drum in half, I then move my stick up about an inch. So the bead is almost an inch away from the rim. Now, depending on the size of your, your snare drum, that'll differ, okay? But that's what works for me. And then I get a nice like, I get a nice cross stick sound. If I'm too far up, sounds choked. Too far back, I hear nothing. Okay, so make sure that's what you're doing for this cross stick, get a nice, solid pop. Okay, so you play that eight bar phrase twice, right? Ending with the doom, 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 cha, um, open hi-hat there. Then the next one, we're just gonna, we're just gonna listen to the singer. Boom, boom, dot, boom, 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 uh, boom, 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 handle bars, all right? You're just mimicking what you hear the rest of the band do. Okay, so no matter what you're playing or singing, you're doing the same thing together. So let's try it. Slower? Maybe you need it slower. Let's go slower. These are eighth notes. C 
you can tell that that part, that two measure, ba 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 ba, that's very important. You're gonna have to be able to play that. It's iconic. It's a cool way to fill out the the phrase, but you're still it's still based in groove. Okay, so I love it, man. It sounds it sounds funky. It's fun. Can't spell funky without fun. <laughs> All right, next you have the same eight bar phrase that we played at the beginning, okay? Pretty important that you learn that. Let's play it again. All right, good. We're gonna do it again. Here we go, uh, again. All right, so make sure you can play that. You can slow it down even more than that if you need to, okay? That isn't quite at uh, performance tempo, all right? Somewhere in the middle, okay? So some of you, that's too slow. You, you need to speed it up, like now. It's very important that you can follow along to the music, right, while I'm playing it. So then you can at least figure out what it is, all right? And then maybe you don't need to play the whole thing, all right? Just play one measure at a time. All right, it's just back and forth between the same two measures, right? And then measures seven and eight are just a version of measures two, four, and six. It's, it's not bad. It's really not bad. You just have to know how to attack it. No more cross stick. This is when you start hearing rim shots, right? Let's start playing rim shots now. Okay, so you could play it backwards if you don't have enough time. Okay, but while I'm playing that last measure, right, I'm gonna go ahead and like, I could do a stick flip or just, this whatever just get ready so know that know that that's this is coming up okay so let's play the last two measures before we play uh we play our rim shots Okay, so we just played rim shots. I played a version of that fill. I didn't play the exact thing on the recording. So we're gonna actually work on what's on the recording. Okay, um, uh, all the fills are very similar. They all end with Tom and Floor Tom. And uh, one, right, pretty much. Okay, I encourage you to play your own fills, right? Also, this is kind of a jam. They were like, hey, play with us, play with the music, the vocals, the other instruments that you hear, and interpret, just interpret what you hear. That's why the bass drum is handle bars. Handle bars. That's all, I mean, that's all he's doing, right? It sounds awesome. He's just listening to, to what everybody else is doing. Here you go, okay? This is what I hear. So it's very important to be able to listen and play what you can, what you can hear. Okay, it doesn't matter if you can read music. I mean, it, it does, but that's not everything. If I can't hear, man, I'm in trouble. Okay, so make sure you're really listening. Okay, we'll play the, actually, we'll play the fill, the last measure of this eight bar phrase. We're taking it in eight measure chunks. Okay, just for those of you just joining us. All right, so here we go. All right. Do whatever you want. You can play that if you want, but whatever. Here comes our favorite eight bar phrase again. All right, one measure of the one, and, one, two, and, all right, then one and a two, and. Let's try it. It's good practice.
So you notice we only played two bars of the actual groove that we played in our favorite eight bar phrase. And you notice, those of you counting home, that was four bars. Okay, and then we played our favorite fill. It's gonna come up. You need to be able to learn it. Now we're, we're, we're mimicking the handlebars uh, line again. All right, here we go. Now we're into the, this is the, this is the meat of it. So it's open hi-hat, you heard me playing eighth notes, it'll go to quarter notes, okay? We're gonna play a measure of groove and then we're gonna play a fill that stops on count three. Look at me, look at me, stop. All right, you do that twice, okay? You can play what's on the recording or I encourage you to just improvise, right? Play, play whatever is cool. It just has to end on count three. All right, so let's do it just a couple of times. We'll do what's on the recording. We'll also do some free ones. Here we go. One more, one more. All right, now we get into the actual like bass drum heavy stuff, the stuff that I know a lot of you want to learn. Uh, I know that a lot of my students need to just turn around. Don't worry about this, okay? Just keep playing those parts during this. All right, but if you have a second bass drum, or a double bass pedal. Uh, actually, even if you don't have one, you can still use like the hi-hat. You can use your left foot there and imagine what it'll sound like, right? Um, but yeah, now we're actually kind of getting into some, some choppy stuff. You don't have to use a double bass pedal for a lot of this. Uh, it's really, it's not until the last eight measures where uh, you could actually, you could still get away with it one-footed um, but you can tell that it's a double bass pedal because of the power of each stroke um, and the speed. So we'll we'll do it we'll do it with the double bass pedal to show you what it's like, and then you decide what you want to keep and what you want to you know get rid of, right? If you want to buy a double bass pedal to just play this song, I mean your life is awesome if you can do that. So congratulations. <laughs> Quarter note still on the hi hat. All right, we're gonna take it four measures at a time. Let's try it. Again. And there's lots of crash because this is like the climax of the song. Okay, so you get to be a lot louder. We started out with cross stick, nice quiet hi hat. Now I'm just, I'm just bashing bashing okay so once again drummers listening to the band listening to the needs of the song right and providing just what it needed all right it's pretty cool next four bars you ready here we go Next four bars, it's really that's really more of an eight bar phrase. So let's play the next four bars.
The fill doesn't really matter, okay? It's just 16th notes on counts three and four. And a ticket ticket boom. Actually, three and a four and a one. That's what it is, okay? So whatever you come up with will be cool, all right? Now, double bass, the moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, I don't have a double bass pedal. I am super fortunate to teach at a school that has lots of drums, so I can use another bass drum. The pitches are a little different, but you get the idea. Okay, so now when we add double bass, you're really just playing the uh of four with your right foot, okay? And then you're playing a uh one with your right foot. Think of it like that. One, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. But in between that a uh one, you split with your left. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e. So it's three notes. It sounds like seven when, you're, when you just listen to the recording. You're like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? Okay, so that's all it is. Okay, the key here is to listen still to handle bars. Handle bars. You're just embellishing that rhythm. All right, let's try measure one of the last eight bars of the song, or last eight bars the drummer plays, so it's all that matters. Here we go. All right, maybe I'll, I'll close the hi-hat so you can really hear the bass drum part. Okay? You're going to play that every other measure. All right? Every other measure. Now, the even number measures, all right, we're going to play this. Here we go. Try it. Let's try it. So you hear that? I actually went into the next measure, but handle bars, da 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 da, da and forienda one. That's all you're playing. So you're just adding a little extra. So you could still, if you take out the left foot, and four and, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. It's still you'll still sound awesome playing through this. Okay, it's just if you have the option of playing two bass drums or a double bass pedal, it's cool. It's super cool. All right, so we're just gonna alternate. Then the last measure, you're just playing 16 notes on your right, you know, on both feet, and then I'm just gonna play on the snare. That's it. It's a simple concept. It's not necessarily easy to perform. So once again, be nice to yourself. All right, let's try it. That's it. That's it. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. That was fun. Okay guys, I hope that made sense. We played through the whole song, so you know how to play all of it, right? Remember the fills, I really encourage you to make up your own fills. Be creative. It's a, it's a great exercise to do that and, and listen to what another drummer does, but then, you know, you want to be yourself, right? You want to have your own voice, so make sure that you're, you know, taking chances and, you know, not just doing the same thing over and over, because that'll make, that'll get you, you, know, you just be bored, right? So, I hope that was fun. Remember, be nice to yourself. It takes a while. The double bass stuff too. Like it's one of those. I, I find like my right foot, I like to pick my heel up. My left foot, I like to kind of keep it. I, I have more success if I keep my left heel down. Because I'm not playing a lot of notes with my left foot. Right? It's just enough to make it spicy. So remember, be nice to yourself. 
If you don't have a drum set, you can still do all this, right? You can still work on just your feet, you know, sitting at a restaurant or in the car or waiting on, you know, on a long drive. You can get better at, in those situations. So remember, it doesn't matter the gear. The gear's nice, okay? Don't get me wrong, it's nice, but it's not required right now, If you're, especially if you're just getting started out, okay? Stinky Fabrizi, I don't have a stinky, man. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great, too. My Fabrizi would be... Uh, I thought the double bass part was going to be uh, impossible because I don't play very often, so that was really cool, like, getting to actually try it. I'm not the best. I get it. Totally get it. So, internet, please spare me. But, yeah, it was, it was really fun. So, hey, I hope you had fun. Make sure you holler at me in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next. All right, this was so much fun. This was a request by one of my students, Will. Shout out to Will. Thanks, buddy. This is, this is great, man. I had so much fun. I hope you had as much fun as me. Get outside. Get some sunshine, man. That vitamin D is important. All right, be well, stay safe, and wash those hands. I'll see you all later.